Hi friends, my name is Molly. I love that we're getting so personal on this channel and we're getting closer so I thought I would share a personal part of myself. It's something that I've been doing way longer than I've been doing yoga, something that I'm so so passionate about. It's my first ever bigger bigger passion and it's photography. I've been doing photography I think since I was 14 years old. Not showing this on this channel where I was really having fun felt wrong, so I finally get to share that part of me with you guys. Similar to my yoga journey, I discovered it and I started being really obsessed with it where I would do it and practice it every day. Practicing that skill led me to it being my full-time job, which I'm very, very happy about and so, so grateful. Photography helped me so much to meet so many beautiful people with different backgrounds, with different mindsets, with different stories. Like I mentioned so many times on this channel, yoga has been affecting every part of my life. And in this video, I wanted to share how yoga has been affecting my professional and creative life and what kind of changes I noticed. first started to discover yoga a year and a half ago and it started changing my mind completely. For the first time, photography took a back seat in my life, which brought a lot of questions and a lot of uncertainty, sort of a little existential crisis if you will. I connected with so many people throughout my photography journey, however I never really allowed that connection with myself. those ambitions that I had about photography, of being on the Vogue magazine, of being on this cover, of shooting that campaign, lost their meaning. And that was very frightening for me because this is something I lived by. With discovering yoga, those ambitions started slowly fading away because I realized this is not what will make me happy. I don't doubt that one day my photography will be on a Vogue magazine or in those campaigns that I'm manifesting. However, this is not something that will make my life. <laughs> At first, it was very frightening to let go of all of those ambitions, of all of those ideas. But now, understanding that being on the cover or doing that campaign is not something that is necessarily the center of my intentions freed me in a lot of ways. It gave me a lot of freedom of just experiencing and enjoying what I'm doing and taking my time, connecting with people and instead of seeking opportunities or not being satisfied with what I have right now, letting go of that was very freeing and I feel so happy. Photography is uh, a beautiful art, however it is a performance, it is staging and a lot of the things that I shoot are very uh, makeup oriented or commercial. It's still what I love because I love the makeup, I love the, the performance of it, it's not really realistic. At some time with yoga, I started really understanding what makes me happy and I just never felt as happy as I am because I do what I love and even when I was doing it before yoga, I wasn't satisfied. I still had that craving of not enough, but now I feel complete and I'm getting deeper into that complete feeling and connecting with it more frequently, which is so rewarding. And what, it, what is very interesting, when I let go of that tight grasp on my goals, on my dreams, Things started flowing easier, things started being less forced and they're just coming into my life and it doesn't make me as excited where it just sweeps me off the feet when something happens that I would be so excited about in my previous mindset. If something doesn't happen that I would expect happens, I don't get as upset as I probably would have. I still love photography, I love it so much, I love people who I work with and me discovering yoga and that becoming a very big part of my life doesn't mean that photography is something that is gone from my life. This is a beautiful journey with many paths and many many discoveries and I don't think it's about sticking to one thing or to another. That balance is something I'm still figuring out, the balance between yoga and photography and work and self-fulfillment. It's very delicate balance and I sometimes tip the scale a lot 
I would love to share more about it with you because I think this is very relatable in our world to learn how to balance our well-being where the world you know, tries to distract you or there is also the need to work and hustle and have that capitalistic success, if you will, that you might lose your soul over. I'm excited to share more about this experience with you guys and hopefully hear some of your stories and how you're balancing your work and professional ambitions with your spiritual fulfillment. Connecting is very important and I think supporting each other is very important. And if you guys have any ideas of what you want to hear from me, please, please let me know. I am so open to having fun and interacting with you. Don't forget, you can't fill anyone else's cup till yours is filled. My cup is empty. I'm done, guys. <laughs> can't, can't give anymore. Bye-bye. <laughs>